Hello everyone and happy Earth Day! Today we're going to make this Love Our Earth poster inspired by a book written by Jane Cabrera. To start, you'll need crayons and then markers or watercolors. Either one of those will work. I'm going to start with a black crayon. I'm using crayons because I'm going to be using watercolor. If you're using markers, you can use a black marker. And I'm going to draw a big curved line in the middle of my paper. This is my Earth. The next step is to draw the different continents of our Earth. So I'm focusing on South America down there at the bottom, and then Central America, and North America is what I'm drawing now where we live. You can draw whatever kind of shapes you would like. You can look at a map or you can make it up. It's up to you. I'm also going to draw a little bit up top. My next step is to add a face. We often call Earth Mother Earth, and so I'm going to draw a face to give this Earth more personality like it's a person. Before coloring in, I want to pick my phrase. So you can put love our earth, like the book, or you can pick from these other phrases. Happy Earth Day, reduce, reuse, recycle, save the earth, or my favorite, the earth without art is just eh. However you choose to do it, write your slogan for your poster. When you're ready, you're gonna begin drawing trees up at the top, coming out of the top of our earth. Now I'm using crayon because I'm gonna also use watercolor. If you're using marker, that's fine too. But I'm gonna start by drawing just a couple of trunks and I'm making them different sizes. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller as I get to the side. You can make whatever kind of tree trunks you like. Now, like I said, I'm using watercolors for this part, but you can just as easily use markers and crayons. Here's one I already did with just markers and crayons, still overlapping my trees, coloring it all in. It looks really beautiful. I'm just gonna try it with watercolor now and see what I come up with. So I'm gonna wet my paint, and then I'm gonna start with my earth. So green and blue, lots of it. And now I'm gonna start with my trees. So I'm gonna use some crayon and then watercolor. I'm just kinda gonna go and start creating these shapes, the tops of my trees, and see what kind of trees appear. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself. Whatever I can think of, that's what I put for my trees. And I'll start with the front and then I'll overlap eventually. Now, one of the reasons we celebrate Earth Day is because we want to appreciate this amazing place that we get to call home. Our earth does so much from us, from giving us clean water and air to breathe, food and shelter. Plus, it's just such a beautiful place to be, right? And so we can celebrate by creating art about our planet, but also you could plant a tree or a garden in your backyard. You could take a walk and just admire the nature and the beauty all around you. Or you can help 
collect bottles and other recyclables from your family and friends and take them to be recycled. That's one of the ways we take care of our earth because our earth gives so much to us that we need to be good stewards. A steward is someone who takes care of something, right? And so we need to take care of our earth. And there's lots of fun and easy ways to do that. Okay, you could see I'm just continuing to fill in the gaps now in that space behind my trees so that I have a nice full foliage. And I'm using a paper towel to kind of dot my trees. That's up to you. It just depends how much water you have and what you want it to look like. All right, there are my Love Your Earth posters. I cannot wait to see yours. Happy Earth Day!